from her cuddly come-ons for Victoria's Secret to her rousing runway struts for Versace and Yves Saint Laurent. From the sizzling pages of Sports Illustrated's famed swimsuit edition to the classic campaigns of Ralph Lauren, Karen Mulder is that rare supermodel who is as smart and spirited as she is sexy and seductive. They're That's why he wants dressed. to talk no, to no, me. No, 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 no. See, it all comes down to sex all the time. Of course it does. Yeah. What do you think we're selling? No, what are you selling? Mm. <laughs> With her regal beauty and feline figure, the Dutch Dynamo has attained the status of royalty in Europe. Now, Queen Karen is looking to expand her empire. This is what America is all about. It's like, this is freedom, liberty, a new beginning. Coming to America like the Dutch did in the beginning. She's going to be huge here, everywhere. The seasoned 26-year-old has even enlisted some high-powered help. This is Aline Soulier, who's my new agent, and she's fabulous. I mean, I'm, no, it is true. I mean, I wasn't in the States for like four years. I never, nothing ever happened. And now I have all these things happening. These things include a full-scale media blitz. A tell-all beauty video and CD-ROM. Bend your knees a little bit more, and we're going to work on our buttocks. And even a few extra Karens. You want to see my dog? OK. I just cut off my hair. <laughs> did. But it looks like me, doesn't it? In addition to being an ambitious businesswoman fluent in five languages, Karen is one of fashion's most colorful cutouts. <laughs> I love Victoria with the smell of the horses and stuff. I, Ooh, love, I love this horse <laughs> smell. It's fantastic. Yeah, I, mm. I love that. She especially loves to puncture her own profession. No, I don't see fashion disappearing, honestly. And, uh, Maybe supermodel. No, just kidding. Sorry. Her down-to-earth charm comes from growing up in a small town in Holland, where she learned the golden rule. I had a, a really nice childhood without worries, and that gave me, you know, certain principles in life that I think you would only learn as a child. You will not learn them in the fashion business. But eventually, Karen went her own way. My parents always had very different ideas about what I should become than I had. So... You know, kind of as a child, you're being pushed towards this very serious direction. My father would have loved for me to be an accountant. Ooh, fabulous. <laughs> Just, I would have died. <laughs> Karen's pals soon pushed her into the glamour game. They saw me looking at this fashion magazine all the time with this contest in it. And, and I, was, I just couldn't put it away because I was always fascinated about everything with fashion and beauty and hair products. And, I, you know, I was just absorbed in this thing the whole time. So they were like, Karen, I think we're going to have to send some pictures. In one of fashion's most fabled success stories, the newcomer wound up in the 1986 Elite Modeling Agency's Look of the Year contest. And the uh, second, second runner-up is Karen Mulder from Holland. Oh! A dazzling new diva had arrived. I feel like I'm a very lucky person, I think. You know, I've, I've never worked re... I mean, I worked hard, but it's not like I've ever had to suffer to get something. I've always kind of just happened like this. But breaking big in America is not something that just happens. In the next half hour, Karen and her agent blitz the Big Apple from a jam-packed love-in with fans... Hi, nice to meet you. ...to close encounters with the American media machine. Uh, you know what? I'm not into these questions right now. I okay. just can't answer them. I'm sorry. From some sexy spins at Victoria's Secret's lingerie extravaganza. I think Victoria's Secret, I think there's something for everybody. To schmoozing and grooving after the show. You, you were beautiful. Oh, beautiful. thank you. I loved it. it was... Karen puts her charms to work and herself on the line in a bold bid for superstardom in the new world. I'm going to look like such an idiot in this, <laughs> in this thing I'm telling you. As the city wakes, Karen and her agent rush to the Motown Cafe for an autograph signing, the first step in their march on America. Aileen Soulier, once Claudia Schiffer's agent, is especially giddy. I always dreamed about representing her, and I mean it, and it's true. So I'm very happy now. My life is almost complete. I love her. 
You guys you are a monster of exaggeration. No, 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 yes. no, no. Top Model is sponsoring today's event, which is also a fundraiser. People buy the magazine, get it autographed, and then they have to pay $20 to the Leukemia Foundation, which is, I think, is a great cause. It's almost a selfish thing, I think, you know, to do charity work is almost something quite selfish because it makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you feel like you've done something good for a change. You know, I don't know, maybe stupid to say, but I almost feel like that way sometimes. I'm gonna go first, huh? <laughs> Stop the crowd. Soon, the cafe is buzzing with anticipation. It's great to have Karen on the cover of our magazine. She's a beautiful model, and she really kind of emulates this style and the personality that we try to emulate in the magazine. But upstairs, Karen makes one thing clear. She doesn't want to pretend to be an expert on today's charity. Yeah, you know, I, I, I feel a bit... You know, I'm very happy to be here, but I'm not um, part of the right now, as I know, you are. You know, I can't speak about something that I'm not... No, I haven't prepared a speech or anything like that, but I just wanted to say I think it's wonderful that everybody came. I'm very pleased to be here, and thank you for coming. Karen, you're left now, please. Karen, this way, please. Karen, you're right, please. Right here, Karen, please. There is this incredible energy when there is this media frenzy going on, but at the same time, it's, I don't know, it can get you a little bit. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Hi. Can you get, What's can you your write, name? To Jackie. To Jackie. Finally, the love-in is over. I have to have a sip. But the day's adventures have just begun. Coming up on Model, when day turns to night, Karen takes center stage at the sexiest show in town. I think lingerie is for women and men anyway. I mean, you kind of put it on, you know, for yourself, but also for the guy that you're in love with or whoever you want to seduce. But first, Karen springs a surprise on the Model camera crew. I don't go shopping. I just don't go shopping. I really don't feel like it. I see fashion all the time. So I want to go into the park. You go and... This is just stupid. Oh, God, this is so embarrassing. This is it. Stick your chest out, pull your stomach in, and push your butt out. Fabulous. When it comes to tricks of the supermodel trade, Karen Mulder is a master. Already a sensation in Europe, this buoyant beauty is hoping to conquer America with a layout in Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue and an upcoming spot at the heavily hyped Victoria's Secret lingerie show. And they do very sexy things. I don't think it's vulgar in any kind of way. I think it's very classy and very beautiful. But after a morning spent pressing the flesh, Karen decides to get in a little relaxation before the big show. It's so cold still, huh? Wait. It's very cold in there. <laughs> My God. Eager to escape the cold and encouraged by the model camera crew, Karen and her high-powered new agent decide on a shopping spree. I want to go back by uh, Barney's or Henry Bendel or oh, something. Yes. Because they have everything. But Karen's irrepressible exuberance soon throws everyone a curve. You want me to go and show you what I do in New York, but I don't go shopping. I just don't go shopping. I really don't feel like it. I see fashion all the time. So I want to go into the park. You go and this is just stupid. Oh, God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I've never been in one of these things, and I really want to go. I mean, I, this is my dream. We'll get married in one of these, actually. That would be very oh, yeah. nice, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I, I was thinking maybe Not like I'm feeling all. stupid or anything. Oh. No, it's very nice. Makes you feel like you're free. Not even five. Absolutely. So here we are. Passing the plaza. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's very cold. Guys. Karen's agent, however, is quick to revive her client's fanciful mood. Oh, I would have you loved to live Karen during the Romans. Oh, I love No, during the Romans. And I, but I want it to be very rich and decadent, because otherwise I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't want to be like a slave and get thrown in front of the lions. Eventually, Karen gets personal. I think I'm very lucky in life, and I think you should profit the moment. You, should, you have to live the moment. You, don't, you should not live in the future. You should not live in the past. It's about living today, this very second. And look, here we are, Central Park, watching the ice skating. 
but ice skating is not an option. It's time for the ambitious supermodel to go to work. We're off to the Victoria's Secret show at the plaza. The Victoria's Secret Lingerie Show is one of America's premier fashion events. Lingerie! Top models from around the world take part, earning as much as $50,000 for the night. Yet despite all the pressure, Karen seems remarkably at ease. Love her coat. Fabulous coat. All the glitz attracts an army of press. For Karen, it's the perfect opportunity to up her profile. I saw a girl once completely to lo lose her top, and she was in the front page of the French newspaper, and she looked like Jeanne d'Arc. But dealing with the press isn't always easy. What about a date when you were growing up? Do you remember a date that sticks out in your head, maybe because you either had a really good time? Uh, you know what? I'm not into these questions right now. I okay. just can't answer them. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Karen Mulder. Stick around to the 10 o'clock news, because I'll be showing you some lingerie. Okay. Yeah, this is horrible. I can't do this right now. I'm sorry. But finally, Karen scores a bullseye. When I get up in the morning, I look in the mirror and I go, Dear God, get me to a plastic surgeon. Yeah. When you get up in the morning and you look in the mirror... I do exactly the same. You do not. Oh, yes. Do me a favor. Say your name once more because you are my favorite model. Oh. <laughs> Karen Mulder. Karen Mulder, will you turn to the camera and say it? All right, oh, you are my God. favorite, favorite model. You can't remember that name. Karen Mulder. Soon, however, more pressing matters call. It's 5 o'clock, one hour and a half to go before the Victoria's Secret show. I okay, I have to go. Get changed. Stop it. Coming up on Model, Karen unwinds at a funky post-show party. <laughs> but first, she goes up against the best in the business at the greatest lingerie show on Earth. I like doing lingerie because you get to lay down all the time. <laughs> Supermodel Karen Mulder has no problem with naughty nighties, nor does she mind swimsuits, as her spread in Sports Illustrated makes abundantly clear. Sports Illustrated is something that will get you a lot of attention. I mean, this is like the magazine of the year. Already considered a goddess in Europe, this Dutch diva is now launching a full-scale invasion of America. I think I'm blessed. I think I was supposed to be here. It's not the real one comes very close. After a punishing day of meeting fans and working the press, Karen prepares for one of her most important shows. I think there's no other fashion show that gets so much attention as Victoria's Secret. Seen by 200 million people worldwide and attended by celebrities, the Victoria's Secret lingerie extravaganza is the event every model wants a piece of. But Karen's decade of experience gives her an edge. She holds the runway with dignity and poise. And at the end of the night, it is Karen who delivers the knockout blow. After the show, the paparazzi want more. Right here, please. Wait, wait, Karen. Stay up here one more time. Hold that pose. Karen, over here. Karen, this way. But the attention puts Karen in a philosophical frame of mind. It's good when you feel good. Yeah. But if you don't feel good, it's really annoying. Uh, yeah. But if you feel good, it can be very... But also, you know, it's not something that you want to pay too much attention to because one day it's not going to be there. I just don't want to live my life that way. I don't want to think that, you know, because one day you might miss it too much. You'd be very unhappy. Uh, you bet. Yeah. You'd be very unhappy. Yeah, yeah, and then you have to, like, Pay photographers to scream Karen. 
I just like to take life as it comes along. I really try to. When what's the point in worrying about things all the time ahead? You know, it's not going to change anything except that you're going to make yourself sick. Karen's new agent jumps in with some encouraging words. You're different from the others. I think she is, um, she's uh, more warm. She, she says what she thinks like nobody does. She's going to be huge here, everywhere. Yes, you, you will. Eventually, the supermodel musters the energy to press a little more flesh. You were beautiful. Oh, beautiful. thank you. I loved it. It was so much fun. It was, so wasn't it? Much... Backstage, we had so much fun. Really? Yeah, yeah. You pull up some pictures of uh, Miss Moldauer. He's standing right behind you. Not Moldauer, please. Moldy, why not? Finally, it's time to go. But even that isn't easy. <laughs> it's raining in your... I have done... What have I done? I have done a signing. I did, I think I did at least 50 interviews. And I did a fashion show. It was great. I, we had so much fun. It was really, really nice. But it is kind of a weird job, I have to say. It's, it's kind of strange when you look back in the day like that. But it was fabulous. It was nice having you with me. Bye. Oh, no, God. No, but I can't get into the cab like this. It's not possible because oh. I don't have my bag and I have okay, to smile. <laughs> Coming up on model, Karen goes shopping. Actually, you know, did you know that some designers use these on dresses? Yes, women are also like houses and need to be decorated every once in a while. <laughs> but perhaps feeling the strain of the last few days, Karen is not her usual self. I don't even know what style I want. I don't even know what life I want. Oh, my God. And I completely neglected coming here for so long that I'm delighted to be back. <laughs> a mega star in Europe, Karen Mulder is now on a quest to conquer America. It is beautiful. I am so impressed. After wowing the fashion world with her runway struts for Victoria's Secret, the statuesque siren turns her attention to furnishing her new apartment. I live in Monaco, but I, I, I am planning to take an apartment so that every time I arrive, I feel at home. Because every time I go to the hotel and, and, and I stay at this great hotel, which is absolutely fabulous, but after two weeks, I, I, I hate it. I get depressed. I need to feel at home. And that means a shopping spree, which can be as revealing as any lingerie show. I hate this. This is horrible. Look at this. New York and it's raining. How sad. See, this is when you need all that new stuff in your apartment so you can go home and make it all nice and comfy and cozy and fireplaces and stuff like this. The site of the spree is the gigantic ABC carpet and home. Where do I start? I don't know where to start. I've never been to this place before. I heard it's fabulous. But perhaps feeling the strain of the last few days, Karen is not her usual self. I'm not inspired. I'm just not. And everywhere I go, I see people running away. And it's like, it's a totally unnatural situation. Let's go down. I don't want to look around here. Gradually, Karen's playful side slips out. See, when you see beds like this, all you want to do is just, you know, kind of stop here and then run on the bed and take this big dive. But then they put little things on the bed like this. Please do not sit on the bed, so... With every wisecrack, her spirits seem to lift. Actually, you know, did you know that some designers use these on dresses? Yes, women are also like houses and need to be decorated every once in a while. <laughs> I might get in a lot of trouble for this. <laughs> now this couch is fabulous. If you're wearing jeans, you want to go on this couch here. You just totally melt into the whole thing if you're wearing jeans. <laughs> Great idea, no? Yep. I know, I could just picture myself in jeans on this couch. It would just be perfect. I think I've just landed the next guest campaign, actually. So cute. You can just imagine this little girl in the country running around. Oh, well, I guess I just have to make the baby first. <laughs>
Isn't shopping wonderful? <laughs> I have to do this again some other time. Today is not the day for shopping. I've seen it all. Didn't buy anything, though. On the streets, Karen meets up with a familiar face. Look at this. Oh, with the music and everything. Did you hear this? This is like a new beginning. It's like something different. America is about to experience something different, too. For while there are many beautiful and ambitious models, few go about their business with as much humor and grace as Karen Mulder. And as for Lady Liberty's apparel... This is a bit out of fashion, but could very soon be back in fashion, because you never know, because things change all the time. Indomitable spirit, and you have Frederick Vanderwall, the international sex symbol who's taken underwear out of the closet and into the spotlight. It's no secret, Frederick's smoldering sensuality helped turn a risque catalog company into a pop culture powerhouse. But not content to sell for someone else, this Dutch diva has become her own boss. Look. The little Frederic label. If you put your name to it, and, and what a chance I have to design your own line. And when she's not busy expanding her portfolio, Frederic lends her charms to the likes of guests.